Good morning, sunshines. Happy May the 4th be with you. <laughs> it is a Saturday. I am just hanging out in my room today. This is this is my plan. Like, I have things that need to get done. I have a to-do list I'm going to show you. But um, I'm Bunnyfish, Heather, if you're just popping in. This is a a little vloggy snippet, so uh, you may like it. You, if you're new, you may want to go see like an actual like monthly vlog. That might be more your speed, but my cat just executed the most beautiful jump, and I got to see it, and you missed it. I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, let's look at my to-do list, shall we? This looks like a lot. What was I thinking? <laughs> it's fine. It's a two day to do list. It should be fine. So I got some cleaning things at the top. My main crafting focus this weekend is going to be working those minis that I showed you on the previous vlog into the corner to corner blanket. Um, and then vloggy stuff. My kiddo. We are listening to the Odyssey together so they can do their homework with me. Um, I got myself a new bed frame because the bed frame that I have, I love it. I've had it since high school, but it's been broken since high school. Um, it's a wooden frame and the things that hold the box spring, there, there's one section missing. And so when the bed frame shifts. Um, sometimes a gaps in the mattress falls through. It doesn't happen a lot, but I'm over it. <laughs> so I bought a metal bed frame to go under and also my box spring is broken. So I'm just going to put the metal frame under my mattress, get rid of the box spring, call it good. <sighs> that means I have a lot of work to do like in that area. So that's not a this morning thing, but sometime this weekend when I have energy for a big task, that's my big task. My actual big task this weekend is put together the bed frame and, you know, then put my bed back together and all of that. I need to put flea drops on the kit on and then I have some other crafty things down here. Um, I missed reading the laws uh, 48 laws of power for two days. So I have to make that up this weekend. That's my rule. And then I haven't journaled all week. It's fine because I have photos and videos and stuff from all week. So I remember what happened, but I just have to write it down. So yeah, that's my to-do list. I'm going to go get some things to done. Hey sunshines, I'm having a slow start to my day. I haven't really done much on my to-do list except um, editing the first vlog of May, yay! And working on scrappy things already. I said I ordered these to go into these mini skein packs. I said I ordered them to go into this blanket. First one I opened, I put into several other blankets. Whatever, it's fine. It, it, but the color is so pretty. I just needed it in multiple places. I'm not beating myself up over it. It's fine. Um, I do feel really motivated to put them into this blanket though. So like I'm working through with immediacy and I have other minis that I've put in so far. So that's good. Um, <sighs> look at this. I think in March, I think I talked about ripping out this shawl, um, the graphic infection, which was be a beautiful shawlette. I just don't have use for it anymore. I never wear it. So I'm ripping it out and putting it in the blanket and look, it's almost gone. It's going to be gone today. It's going to be all in this blanket instead. 
I just wanted to document that. I really, really loved this pattern. Um, it was my first Josh Ricks pattern and loved it. And the yarn is beautiful, but I just don't wear it. So it should be, the yarn should be somewhere useful. So yeah, I need to mark off one more of these. I just realized. I've done five so far. And my goal is 10 for the weekend. So that's not bad. But I'm starting to feel the urge to like do things, which is good. So shortly, <laughs> probably around the time that I finish up the mini that I'm currently working on. Um, Yes, I'm I'm working the minis off of my Swift instead of winding them into balls. I'm just working them straight off the Swift. Uh, that's how I roll sometimes. <laughs> um, as soon as this one's done, I think I'm going to start doing the cleaning tasks. I think I might want to put together that bed frame. It's a little before 2 p.m. If I can get like my bed cleaned off and everything by three, I think I'm going to put that together today. Yay, I did the thing. This is my new bed frame. It's very exciting. The most exciting part is now I can put back my under the bed storage, which hasn't been under my bed in a couple weeks since the last time my bed frame dropped my mattress and it squished my under the bed storage. So yay, very exciting. Good morning, sunshines. Happy Sunday, the, um, the 5th of May. Oh, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's, a little, it's like 7 a.m. I just slept for 13 and a half hours. Not by design. It just, uh, it happened. I was gonna take a two-hour nap because I was feeling pretty tired and a slump and so I set a timer and everything and I don't even remember the timer going off. So, okay, interesting. I'm gonna assume it's because of the like stress and stuff of the car and missing the concert and then going to a wedding and all those people. Excuse me. So it's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to find my to-do list because I didn't check off things yesterday. So I'm going to find that and see what we still have to do today. I know I definitely didn't do any reading yesterday and I didn't work on my pride blanket. So those things are happening today. I'm going to get up, get myself set up in, um, in my chair and read in it a little bit this morning and then figure out the rest of the day. All right, so here's my to-do list. It's not looking terrible. It's looking pretty good, actually. Did a lot of stuff yesterday. Um, it's supposed to be overcast all day today, so it seems like a good day to catch up on reading and knitting. Um, oh, I have news, not the great kind. So a couple days ago, my manager from the local yarn shop texted me and said that she's retiring and the yarn shop is closing at the end of the month. That's so sad. It's also kind of personally frustrating because I'm using Barocco vintage baby, baby vintage, um, in my reading log book. And you can only get Barocco yarns through an LYS. So I need to kind of decide how many skeins of it I need to finish my blanket. Which is hard because the amount of yarn I need per square varies by how much I like the book, right? So, I think I've used about 10 skeins so far. So, I think I need to order 15 at least. But maybe I should order 20. 
And worst case scenario is I can just make a bigger border around the outside, right? But I have to do that by the end of the month. And my car is in the shop. And the $800 is just for the thing that needed to be immediately fixed. Not the a billion other things that they found wrong with my car. So I'm going to talk to my sister's boyfriend and see what he thinks needs immediate attention and what he thinks he can help me with over the summer. This is probably why I slept 13 hours last night. <laughs> oh, stress. What's over here? Oh, my painting things are over there. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to stay cozy in my chair with my light and work on crocheting and knitting and reading for a while. I also woke up and I went and, you know, checked around my house, saw what the state of things was, and my oldest kiddo is gone. And for a second I was like, where is my child? And then I was like, oh yes, my child was cleaning their room so they could go to a friend's house. I remember now. And I'm sure my kid said goodbye before they left. But I was out, out. So, you know, this happens sometimes. I'll be back later when I have things to check in about. Okay, so here's the blanket spread out on my bed. Um, I'm definitely more than halfway with it. And I'm at my 10th ball of yarn. So I feel like I have to get at least 10 more. But do I want to get 15? Do I want to just order 10? I don't know. Oh, look how cute it is. I love this blanket so much. I mean, I love all of my blankets, so that's not surprising. But how cute is this? Oh, I love this. But do I want to get just 10 more balls or do I want to get 15 and do a bigger border? Because right now it, like, it doesn't have any border on it. It could, I think it would be fine with no border. But if I get 15, then I have it for border or I have it for extra, or, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What are your thoughts? How many do you think I should get, and why? And also, this blanket is so gorgeous. All right, since we checked in on one blanket, let's check in on another. This is my barn racing square blanket. Isn't she cute? Do -do -do -do. So, I... I'm at 68 squares attached. I don't have any more squares blocked, <laughs> but um, I have one blocking. I just attached this one right here because um, my, well, pause. Let's check in on my mitered square blanket too while we're here. Um, my mitered square blanket has one row in the black and I'm using the black off of the square because one side gets me the one ridge that I need for my blanket. So I was like, well, I could use, I have a couple skeins of the yarn that I'm using for the black. It's Premier Serenity Sock. But I was like, or I can just use the yarn off of here. And save that skein of Premier Serenity Sock to do the top border if I need it. Because I'm doing the border as I go using yarn that I pulled out. Okay, so if you don't know, if you haven't been here for a while, um, I started this project a while ago, decided I was going to border off the squares and then sew them together. Hated the way that looked. And so now I'm picking out the bind offs on each of the squares and some of the bind offs are done um knit two past slip stitch over knit one past slip stitch over or not no <laughs> knit two pass first stitch over knit one pass first stitch over knit one past pass first stitch over and some of them are 
knit two, knit two together through the back loop, then knit one, knit two together through the back loop. And so they use vastly different amounts of yarn for those bind offs. So on the ones where it's the first bind off that I talked about, it uses less yarn and that gives me one ridge. For the one that uses the second type of bind off I talked about, it uses more yarn. So I'm saving those yarn nuggets to knit the, um, the border edge, what looks like this, because it's going to be bordered in black garter stitch. It's five stitches, um, garter stitch, and then a three stitch I cord. So the little nuggets are doing fine. And, um, let's see, right, right here is the last time I joined a nugget. Is that true? Yes. So the, is that true? That seems like a lot. Now I'm doubting myself, but maybe that's true. That might be how much comes off of, that seems like a lot. There's, that's gotta be two. It's probably more like this comes off of one side of one of those bound off squares. So premier serenity sock is no longer a thing. So I have like three partial 50 gram skeins of it. Um, and I'm making two blankets using it. So I'm kind of like, am I going to run out? Am I not going to run out? Is it going to be fine? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just make it work. This, like this one, this one has to be finished with this yarn the way it is. So for my other one, um, and when I get close to running out of the black yarn, I'm just going to square it off and call it done. But this one, I have the squares made for the blanket. So we'll see how it's going. I just wanted to show you because it's been a while since I've shown this blanket. And it's so pretty. All of my blankets are so pretty. Every time I look at them, I'm like, <gasps> you're so pretty. I literally say it to the blankets because it is, I believe that objects hold, like objects have memories. So I try to tell my things all the time, positive things all the time. <laughs> and you can take that for how you want it, but that's how I choose to interact with my things. It doesn't hurt to be positive. Hey, just did a thing. I haven't washed it yet. I cut it dry. So there will be trimming and stuff later, but I just cut all my hair off. I've been talking about doing it for weeks. I'm over it. It's too much work. It takes too long to dry. And at this length, it will be cool for summer. Like, it's still long enough that I can pigtail it on either side. Um, but also wearing it down, I won't get too, too hot. And I wonder if I could... I could do a low pony with all of it in the back too and get most of it up into a bun still. So still versatile, um, but it, it'll be long enough by winter that I won't be cold. So yeah. So late now. And it's going to dry so much faster now. I have officially worked, I think this one is called garage sale, into all of my blankets except the Hexapuff blanket. Um, and I think I'm going to cut a length of it to sew into the Hexapuff blanket just so it can be in every blanket. I love how it has worked up so differently in all of the blankets. Also, I did my stripe on the sock for today. And I did my stripe on the bias strip for today. 
So I'm doing pretty good. It's almost two. And let's look. Let's look at what we got. Um, I need to do laundry. Blah. I'm about to work in a couple minis into the corner to corner because I have the rest of this garage sale to go in. And I'm a couple other minis that I'm going to pull. And then I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I have not finished a garterage yet. Blah. But I will. That's fine. I'm thinking I might watch a movie this evening. And so that would be a good time to do the garter ridges and the stripes on my kiddo's sock. Oh, I can cross these two things off. I didn't do that yet. Um, and I haven't journaled Thursday or Friday yet because those need more brain space than I'm willing to give right this minute, but I'll get there at some point. It's just, you know, a relaxing day of reading and, and, uh, hanging out. I'm reading It's in His Kiss now since I finished the pages in 48 Laws of Power. And so far, I don't, I haven't come across anything that I find very offensive in It's in His Kiss, so... Hoping that trend continues. And I guess since we're, we've checked in on other blankets, let's check in on this one today. So here's the corner to corner, and it is not quite wide enough yet. So another seven-ish inches of width. I put in 11 minis this weekend. I might get one more in, maybe two more this evening. We'll see. But I kind of feel guilty because I still haven't done the miters and it's like 6.30. Not the miters, the um, the garter stitches. And it's 6.30. So I guess I'm going to do those now and then we'll see about working on those blankets some more. All right, friends, it's getting close to 10 o'clock, which is actually past my bedtime, but whatever it is, what it is. I also didn't wake up until 9 a.m. this morning, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try to read my book and get to sleep. Um, the only thing I didn't finish on my to-do list is I only finished one stripe on kiddo socks instead of two. That's okay. That's a pretty successful weekend. It was a really long to-do list. And, excuse me, I just kept adding things to it. So, yeah, pretty successful. <sighs> Again, not the weekend I wanted to show you. My best friend is dog-sitting, only she lives an hour away, but she was dog-sitting like 20, 25 minutes away. And so we are going to get together this weekend and do things, but I don't have a vehicle, so we did not. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully I will have more things to show you next weekend. Fingers crossed. Fingers, because I have plans for next weekend that I really don't want to have to cancel. So, fingers crossed. Ooh, but very exciting this coming week. It is Teacher Appreciation Week. So, in the next few days, there will be teacher appreciation things to share with you. So, that could be exciting. <sighs> I hope you have had a good weekend, restful or productive, or both, as mine was. 
yeah, I hope your weekend was what you needed it to be. And I will see you again so soon. Bye for now, sunshines.